Today I'm going to be reviewing and installing the Amfilm Tempered Glass Screen Protector for the iPhone 6 and 6S. Now this screen protector is also available for other devices, other very popular devices on the market, and I'll leave links to this screen protector for those devices in the description below in case you have one of those. So when you buy the kit you get two screen protectors, now this is a two pack. You also get two sets of screen cleaning wipes, a bubble removal card, very useful, and the dust and lint removal stickers. And there's also an installation manual included with the kit. Now before you start installing the screen protector, it's probably a good idea to power your device off. So go ahead, power your device off, and let's get started. Now the first step is to clean your phone screen using the provided wet wipe. Just go ahead and clean that screen. Now this removes any oil or dirt on the surface of your phone. And next we're going to use the dry wipe to finish cleaning. Make sure to clean the phone thoroughly. Make sure you get rid of all the dust and dirt that you can see on the surface. Once you've got the screen as clean as possible, we're going to use the dust removal tape to sort of pick off the small little tiny pieces of lint that are still stuck to the screen. Peel the tape off. And what you're going to do is wrap the tape around this little circle and then pick off the little pieces of lint on the surface, wherever you can see. Okay, go ahead and pick those little tiny pieces of lint off. And once that's done, we're now ready to install the actual screen protector. Now the screen protector, like other glass screen protectors, comes with two protective films. Film number one, which you have to remove first before you install it, and this is the surface that goes onto the face of the phone. It also has a second protective layer, which has these little ears, which are very helpful to actually position the screen protector on the phone. Now removing the film with these tabs is almost the last thing you'll do when installing the screen protector. So let's go ahead and remove the film that's attached to tab one and place that surface on the face of the phone. Okay, I've peeled the film off. Now very gently position the screen protector Make sure you line up the cutouts, especially the cutout for the Touch ID. It's extremely important. I've positioned the cutouts on the screen protector to line up with your Touch ID sensor up here and your camera, your proximity sensor, and your speaker up here. So make sure those cutouts all line up. And if they don't line up, peel it off gently and reposition it. I've lined up the cutouts as best as I possibly can and everything seems to check out. So let's go ahead and remove the bubbles from the screen protector. Now, as you can probably tell, there are very few bubbles it actually installed very neatly without any issues even at the edges but just to make sure what I'm going to do is use the bubble removal card that is provided which is this card and I'm going to try and remove as many of the bubbles as possible especially on the edges so all you have to do is gently move this card across the screen of the phone you can even move it down the length of the phone and pay attention to the corners and the edges because that's where you'll usually have some bubbles. So I've used the card and got all the bubbles out. Now it's time for the final step. Go ahead and peel this film off. Now before you peel this film off, make sure you have all your bubbles removed because it's much harder to remove the bubbles once this film is off. Okay, go ahead and gently peel this film off. And there you go. The film is off and the screen protector is now installed on your phone. Now, if you still happen to have any bubbles on your screen, use your fingers. Don't use the card anymore. Use your fingers to sort of gently push the bubbles to the edges of the screen. Do it gently, don't be too hard with it. Just give it a bit of even pressure and move those bubbles to the edges to get rid of them. And I've powered the screen back on just so you can see how the screen looks with the screen protector on. I'm not noticing any changes to the color or the way the screen performs. There's practically no noticeable change to the way the screen performs. And 3D Touch also seems to work pretty well with the screen protector installed. Now just like other tempered glass screen protectors, the Amfilm doesn't provide 100% coverage. However, it does cover most of the phone's face and provides quite a bit of protection and peace of mind. So in case you happen to drop the phone, the tempered glass screen protector will crack and not your screen. That way you don't have to change your screen because changing screens can be a pretty expensive fix. 
Now you also have full access to the Touch ID sensor, which is your home button on the iPhone 6S. And the Touch ID system works without any issues. And all the cutouts are very accurate. The camera, the speaker, and the proximity sensor are all accessible. So my overall thoughts about the Amfilm tempered glass screen protector. I think it's a really worthwhile investment in case you buy an iPhone 6, 6S, or another expensive device. It installs very easily. The cutouts are very accurate. The Touch ID sensor works and so does 3D touch on the iPhone 6s and most importantly if you happen to drop your phone it takes the brunt of the drop so you'll end up cracking the screen protector and not your screen definitely an accessory I recommend for the iPhone 6s iPhone 6 or other similar expensive device and I'll leave links to the Amfilm tempered glass screen protector for some very popular devices in the description below so feel free to check that out hope this video was useful if it was please hit that like button and please subscribe to stay tuned for more reviews. Thank you very much for watching.